Living Ink Technologies is developing sustainable printing ink. So traditionally, when you look around the world, you see ink, and if you touch that ink, you're touching the pigments, and that pigment's uh, petroleum-derived, not biodegradable, and often toxic. Can we use what nature's developed to make products that humans can use to make the world safer or more sustainable? So at Living Ink, we're actually using sunlight and carbon dioxide to grow algae cells and we use the entire algae cell as a pigment. We've literally glued black algae cells onto this box to communicate a message to you. So when you feel this, it's algae cells. So it's biodegradable, it's safe, and it's innovative. The way that we've developed this black ink is a big deal because about half of the ink market is black pigments. We hired on an ink chemist who actually came up with the idea and really had one of the big breakthroughs of, of what we've done, but it's basically to turn green algae into black carbon. We can do a lot of green, we can do a lot of black. We also have orange in our lab. We've got a little bit of blue that we're developing. The end goal of our SBIR grant in terms of colors is to develop a cyan, magenta, yellow color, and we've got black. So when you have those four colors, you then can mix those to make a lot of different colors. If you look in this box, you'll see algae ink is printed there. So we have customers who are kind of proud to be doing something different and trying to move the environmental needle forward. This probably wouldn't be possible without the NSF, to be honest with you. I think last year in the phase one grant got us so far in terms of the R&D and the technology that I think that it makes this company very viable. I think without the NSF support, we would have been very early stage for most investors. Without the NSF, uh, Living Ink probably wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now. Thank you.